Here, froggy, froggy. Come on, Cokey. Ha! I got you, froggy! <laughs> oh, hi. I didn't know you were watching. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been in battle with the frogs. <laughs> we were at it for hours last night. Um, as you can see, I have my sun hat on. Man, I tell you, it's 97 degrees out here today. We have broken records consistently day after day after day for temperature here. Each day is turning up a new record. We got a breeze going. Yeah, got a trade wind. It's fair, but I'm telling you, that sun will roast you. Woo hoo hoo, this is hotter than it's ever been around here. And it's drier too. It has not rained for over a week. I mean, not enough to bother with that was one hundredth of one inch uh, this morning it was it so all of you who watched the last video where I was chasing around the frogs uh, you know I've been having a problem the heat is really what's driving it um, but they're just breathing like crazy because it's so warm and I've never had it quite this bad the numbers are insane and so if you look here behind me pretty sad huh that used to be my front yard there's our little pond I left one croton right there. There's a T behind it. Here's my weather station still there. And a couple more croton over that way. But all the vegetable planters, all the flowers, everything that was out here. The agaves, the agaves, they're all over now on the other side of the driveway. Yeah, the agaves are all over there on the other side. I got them out of here. The nice, smooth, big, flat leaves. The frogs loved them. And all the vegetable planters I had out there on the front porch, I brought them all here in the backyard instead. Uh, put them on the nursery table where I wasn't raising stuff. Back here is a little easier for me to uh, control the frogs. As you can see over here, we had a lot of nice landscaping plants in the front yard. There's gardenias and tea plants and such, but no one's got her orchids out here. And they load up with the frogs, and if I get acid or lime on the orchids, it messes them up. And it's just gotten to be a pain, and so we pulled everything out of here. I'm going to put in a perennial peanut, and I'm going to mow it within a half an inch of the ground. The heck with the stinking frogs. We used to keep the orchids over here, and then again, over there on stands, I moved uh, orchids over here, and then put the rest up on a table uh, in the back. And, and boy, oh boy, would you believe it, last night, mm, mm, mm. even though these guys are back here against the wall, where I'm isolated, you know, probably pretty safe. Well, I still got in there. Yeah, so after I cleaned out the front yard yesterday afternoon, I figured, hey, I got it made, man, the frogs are gone. So I came out here on the porch to sit down in the evening and kind of relax, you know. And so I opened up the patio door, and as soon as I opened the patio door, Corky! I mean, like an ice pick in my ear. Unbelievable. The frog was right over here in the orchid pot. And uh, as soon as I opened the door, it let fire it. Oh, my God. This thing was only one and a half inches long. Barely an inch and a half. And that's normal for the males. A tiny little thing. But 90 decibels. I have no idea. <laughs> How something this big could produce a scream that literally will hurt my ear. Um, you know, I ticked enough. I was going to bring my Mesa Boogie out here, Fender Stratocaster, and do uh, uh, all along the watchtower, you know, on 10 and see if I could make its ears bleed. But we went through, we started taking the orchids down off that stand putting them in a bucket of water and looking, you know, and checking them out and moving them aside. We get down to the last four orchids, and I'm sitting over here, and I had this tank of acid. It was lock and load. I said, Froggy, make my day. I was just waiting for that thing to come hopping out of there, and I'm going to nail them. We're down to four orchids. When I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, Cookie! Oh, my God, it's still there, Ellen! Ah! 
So I said, I'll get it, I'm going to get it. And so finally she lifted this one right here and uh, looked in there and she says, oh, Bill, he's sitting in here. And I <laughs> half blind. I looked, it was dark out, and I, I don't see anything. She says, he's right there. So I said, oh, the heck with it. <laughs> I shot acid inside the pot. Woo! Frog came flying out of there, and he goes flying down the porch. I'm running after him with a tank of acid, <laughs> shooting left and right. He almost made it off the porch before my boot caught him. <laughs> and what surprised me is a blot about the size of a smashed raisin could make that much noise. But today, today I am overjoyed. I am so happy. I have my porch back. We have our house back. Um, there's still a few out there in the landscape. I hit a few of them with some acid last night. But for the most part, this side of the house is now quiet for a while. It's very peaceful. I was loving it. Oh, maybe tomorrow, maybe I'll go around the other side and start working. The big plan here is to get a boundary. I want to try to get the frogs driven back away from the house. So I don't always get them tangled up in all our nice flowers and orchids and all the cool stuff we got near the building. It's a pain. I want to control them out there in the coffee somewhere, you know. So we'll see if we can create a boundary. Well, there we go. Bill and the Frog Wars. Aloha, y'all. Hang loose.